dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps become a plan. A plan broken by action make your dream come true. Welcome to all gathered here this evening. It gives me immense pleasure in welcoming every one of you to this online summer course on IoT based application. I now extend a warm welcome to our resource person for this evening, Mr. Manoj Kumar, on behalf of our respected college chairman, Sri D. Duresami, Vice Chairman, Sri D. Parandaman, Secretary, Sri D. Dasradhan, Joint Secretary, Sri S. Gopinath, Correspondent, Sri S. Amarnath, Director, Sri D. Sabrinath, our beloved Principal, Dr. S. Ramachandran, Head of all UG and PG departments, professors, faculty members, and students of our institution. Before we begin this event, let me share a brief interaction of our
Okay, good evening to one and all present here. I am S. Manoj Kumar from Tripoli Department, and I am going to talk about IoT-based application today. And uh, and first introduction, we can see what is IoT. The history of IoT. IoT was formed in 1999. The term Internet of Things was used by Kevin Angsting during his PG work, which was widely accepted uh, around the world. And in 2004, the term was mentioned in famous publications such as a Guardian, Boston Globe, and Scientific American, etc. And in 2005, the UN recognized the IoT and it published the first report of report on this topic. 2008, the Internet of Things was born. 2011, the market research company included the IoT Things technology in their research, so that the IoT was uh, developed uh, from nine, right from 1999 to 2011, and it touched its peak right now. So this is the IoT definition, and IoT is defined as Internet of Things. It's a system of related computing devices, mechanical and digital machines, object animals of people that are provided with unique interface. It can ability to transfer from network over a, a human to human, a human to computer with user interface devices such as sensors, modules, etc. So IoT makes the work easy and, uh, and it also automates the work which, which human uh, does it manual. And... Uh, how IoT works. IoT works based on the four uh, components, such as sensors or devices, connectivity, data processing, and user interface. Coming up on to the sensors and devices. Sensors are a key component that help, that help us to count data from the uh, particular source or the particular uh, environment that we use. So these are all, these sensor values are uh, used to uh, sense the particular area and it could be a simple temperature monitoring system or it may be a form of video feed etc if you use a camera it may be in the form of video uh, if you use a temperature sensor it will be an analog signal or a digital signal if you use an ultra uh, ultrasonic sensor it may use to measure the distance between two objects or distance between between the sensor and the other object so sensors are used and connectivity. So connectivity is, uh, plays a major, impo major important role in the IoT devices. So the communication mediums are Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, WAN, etc. Um, probability IoT uses Wi-Fi from 2.4 gigahertz, not 5 gigahertz. Cost 2.4 gigahertz has higher range of transmission, uh, but uh, transmission speed is low. Whereas Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz has an, uh, uh, a low speed, low coverage area, but higher speed of transmission. And data browsing. Once the data is collected from the sensors or the devices which we are connected, the out output is sent to the input device, which is known as microcontroller or microprocessor used. So uh, it can be very complex, such as uh, using uh, identifying objects, such as a artificial intelligence used to identify objects, such as face recognition, etc. And coming to the user interface, user interface is used to interface the sensor values and all the values which are calculated so if we use an ultrasonic sensor of motion sensor if something uh, if uh, motion sensor detects it just sends a notification to the user interface device such as android or iOS are you always used for example if we use a camera uh, such as cctv camera or ip camera enabled in our home so we can use an interface device as a mobile phone so just we can monitor it by 24 by 7 using a internet uh, internet and if uh, someone uh, if motion alert is on if someone crosses the camera it just uh, senses the object and the uh, and sends the image to the user interface device so user interface device plays an uh, important role in the iot components and why is internet of things is so important this is a major uh, point or a key point to be considered over the past few years iot has become the most important technology in the 21st centuries so we can connect and use our kitchen appliances cars etc and devices so that we can make our uh, environment lifestyle easier to pass so and also uh, iot nowadays developed is, uh, is available at lower cost such as uh, led bulbs alexa and uh, google home etc so we can we can collect data automatically uh, without uh, human in, human calculation. So human calculation errors are reduced while, in, while using IoT. 
and the consumer enterprise iot application these are the applications which we use which the consumer uses right now such as smart car uh, smart car example is tesla cars which which can drive itself and it also an iot application and smart city wearables uh, smart appliances smart building smart home smart tv etc smart health such as uh, wearable wrist watches which which can be used to measure our heartbeat uh, uh, step step count and calories burned so these are all the consumer iot application used right now and the smart world of the future using iot and as you can see this is the world scenario right now so when we use this iot devices in the forest such as for example we taking a forest so we can just uh, detect the forest fire, forest fire detection using smoke sensors and such as carbon dioxide sensors and the fire sensor so that we can reduce the damage rate by sensing the damage uh, in the starting stage and also the water quality can be uh, can be sensed by the sensors and devices and waste management the most important uh, important uh, damage is the pollution so we can also mo monitor the pollution air pollution such as uh, uh, which can be released by factories and uh, we can also use the sensors and uh, sensors such as in nuclear power plants so that we can uh, so that we can uh, analyze the radiation levels which is uh, that's it and uh, we can also use it in the smart parking system so which the user itself can uh, with the uh, with the device uh, just sensors and uh, sends the data to the user so that we can uh, make the car parking easier and it also can be used in smart roads and smart lighting such as adaptive lighting adaptive lighting such as which can be used in phones so phones we have adaptive brightness uh, which uses a pia sensor in phone to measure the amount of light it's getting on the phone screen and it just adjusts the brightness to the user uh, user convenience so we can use it in street lights to automatically turn on and turn off the lights so it can just reduce the power consumption and uh, and it also used in traffic control systems so we can just uh, monitor the traffic control system automatically a uh, artificial intelligence used to control the traffic instead of a human intervention so we can uh, control and avoid uh, accidents such damages and consumer product uh, products and iot products and services helmet consistent sensor helmet consistent sensor is a sensor which is placed over a helmet it just cost about uh, uh, 2k or 3k something i don't know but it can be used in a helmet and it can be mounted over the helmet to uh, so whenever uh, when an accident occurs when riding the bike the helmet concussion sensor then sends the accident and just sends the user uh, information and uh, accident location to the nearby police station or ambulance or else such as family members which we have registered so it is a very useful sensor which is used to predict or uh, determine uh, determine or detect the damage or accident happened so that we while when we use the helmet consistent sensor remote area roads so we can just detect an accident and exact location can be sent through the concussion sensor and medical alert watch so nowadays uh, wearable watches are uh, so much popular so using medical alert watch we can just uh, measure the heart rate and uh, a step count etc so that medical alert uh, so and uh, smart fitness clothing and smart running shoes smart running shoes such as adidas adidas has launched its first smart running shoes so that the user can uh, measure how measure exactly an accurate step count and the and the speed of the user so that it can be used by athletes etc and one button product purchase it is an uh, software based iot application which is used in amazon amazon uh, product dash so that if you uh, if you need to buy a uh, product product such as laundry powder or uh, such as grocery items so we we don't need to just enter the address or enter payment or anything just we can click it and it can automatically sends the address and it it uh, at first registration it just collects our credit card data and debit card data so that it can buy itself and uh, sends it to the user so it is a convenient and time saving ma method and garden sensors garden sensors are used in farming purposes etc so in garden sensor we use moisture sensor soil levels uh, soil temperature sensor uh, air quality sensor humidity sensor and smart television smart tvs are right now we are using now in the home and domestic applications
and this is the kinsa therm smart thermometer it can monitor and monitor your temperature and works like a normal thermometer but it can send your fever data and fever temperature and time of the and time of the temperature taken to the mobile device so that you can just monitor the fever so if you have a kid in the home so you can just monitor it and it also sends the data to the doctor if it is a the fever is high and either uh, higher than the permissible limit so it may be used to improve the human health and industrial iot which is termed as iiot industrial iot focuses on the use of cyber physical systems to monitor the Uh, basic functions are main functions which is happening uh, in the industrial areas and this is the iot uh, in manufacturing digital connected factory it enables the factory to connect digitally over iot uh, such as a wide band uh, wide area network internet and intranet is also used in iot and it just sends the information to the operational uh, engineers field engineers just to ensure the proper operation of the uh, manufacturing line or in the uh, industry or factory it is used and production flow monitoring production flow monitoring can enable the monitoring of product lines such as in conveyor belts and uh, and also in the, uh, in many industries conveyor belts are used for uh, taking the raw materials or else the manufactured products so that if there is any defect in the raw material or in the manufactured part it just automatically senses and removes the defect uh, defect products so that it may be useful technology in a product flow monitoring and plant safety and security it plays an important role as uh, many industries may get uh, fire accidents uh, electrical short circuits etc so that we can use iot to monitor those things so we in case of fire accidents smoke sensors uh, fire sensors are used to detect the fire accident and just uh, water sprinklers are used and also in uh, also many kind of sensors are used to uh, ensure the safety and security of the plant such as motion sensors cameras etc quality control quality control is nothing but the when the final product is achieved the quality can be can be even can be can be uh, monitored by the human but iot can monitor it accurately and uh, detect the uh, and detect the fault product easily so that it just uh, removes the fault product from the production line and just separates it and packing and optimization by using uh, iot products and other packing manufacturers can gain insights to the usage span and handling to product from multiple customers so in packaging system also iot is used and logistics and supply chain optimization it is just tra transporting the products from one place to another so that we can use a gps sensor in the trucks which we transport a important uh, factory equipment or a uh, uh, process product so to ensure the safety and uh, safety of the product and this is the iot benefit to the organization it can monitor overall business process and it can also improve the customer experience uh, it's it saves time and money so that the nowadays the iot devices are available at cheaper cost so it just saves time and money and uh, enhance employee productivity so that the uh, employee can uh, easily monitor the plant without any human uh, work or uh, all the work by work are done by ai artificial intelligence and generate more revenue to the company as uh, iot devices are used uh, employ the human work can be reduced and, and also the it can generate more profit to the organization which it is used and uh, coming to iot this is a uh, this is a project uh, we have done in the mini project so this is an advanced system which can be the project title is face recognition uh, security system in automobile so what is abstract this is an advanced system used used in uh, utilized in many cars today it is not difficult to make duplicate of vehicle key such as key increases the risk of robbery for some problems we overcome with solution uh, the system uses a face recognition system only when the authorized user is a uh, users of the vehicle can uh, allowed to use the vehicle and start the vehicle so let's just see about the existing system the existing system consists of keyless entries keyless entries are developed uh, long back ago 8 or 10 years or something but keyless entries are used to remotely lock and unlock and start your car engine using rf signals if uh, if the rf signal of the key and the rf signal of the car matches within the permissible range such as 1 meter or 0.5 meter the the door can be automatically unlocked unlocked so that the user can easily enter into the car and start the car and get so keyless uh, keyless entry system was developed 
next proposed system this is our uh, proposed system if an unauthorized user enters to uh, tries to use the car the system scans the person's face so that we kept a camera on the dashboard of the car, car to ensure the ensure the un, uh, ensure whether the unauthorized or authorized person using the car so if the face the, the does not match the system the system denies and buzzes an alarm so it also takes an image of the unmatched person and stores it in the sd card and also uh, sends it to the user so that the user can uh, alert the nearby police station or uh, or say ensure the safety of the vehicle so the system uses a uh, arduino uno r3 and it consists of a motor and buzzer alarm and it consists of a camera so so we developed a prototype so used so we used this uh, type of components when we turn on the system authority system the system has uh, three options that is registration start and clear data while registering it just scans the owner's face and just scans the eyes uh, and the face width and height so we doesn't we doesn't use a lidar sensor so that lidar sensor is used to scan the face in 3d so it is used in iphones so we used a 2d camera uh, likewise esp32 camera to scan the owner's face so it just scans the owner's face after successful registration the owner can start the vehicle so to stop the vehicle the the owner needs to press back the command such as a start stop engine button which we used in many cars right now and this is our block diagram of our uh, project and uh, and the main components of the power supply or computer the power supply which we used is 5 to 12 volt dc supply and this is supplied to the arduino uno r3 and the ftti ft232 is a serial converter which is used to code the esp32 cam uh, esp32 cam and the esp32 cam is connected to the relay relay and the relay is connected relay switches uh, switch, uh, nc and no terminals are connected to dc motor so uh, let us see the working of this uh, of this uh, system so when the when the esp32 camera acts as a microcontroller in this uh, block diagram whenever the camera um, uh, scans the registered or unregistered face it just sends the information it just processes the already known data which is uh, stored in the sd card and it just uh, takes a five sample during this station it just takes five sample pictures of the user uh, registered user so that it's it just compares the five images with, images with the currently scanned user face and, the, and it just sends the signal to the relay and the relay coil the relay coil switch on and the dc motor dc motor in case we use the the dc motor indicates the starting system of the car motor or else uh, or else the whole uh, car system starts so this is a um, this is the basic working of our project the esp32 cam module is available at cheaper rate so that we can uh, use it in many car systems but it is also not reliable as we didn't use any lidar sensor so uh, using a picture it can open so this is a drawback of our project and also using esp32 cam uh, and this is our result as you can see, we used an ESP32 cam and an Arduino board and a FTTI232 serial converter and a relay. So whenever the the user interface display is displayed like this, so we used a robot face to display like this. And uh, whenever the system scans and scans this face, it just takes the five sample pics and it just compares with the currently scanned pic, so that we can just uh, yeah ensure the uh, into the proper safety of the user so it just stores the information or uh, information in this sd card slot which we provided here and also it uses uh, we use the arduino uno r3 just for the communication purpose and also for the relay power supply so using uh, uh, arduino uno r3 we can just code the esp32 cam using uh, uh, program uh, program by Arduino user interface and also uh, 
yeah, the ESP32 cam uh, TXRX is connected to the Arduino Uno TXRX so that we can just uh, code the ESP32 camera. And we and uh, FTTA232 is also a code. It is also a uh, interface to the ESP32 cam uh, using TXRX of the FTTA32. We can just uh, program this ESP32 module easily and. Uh, and the major drawback of the ESP32 cam is that uh, it cannot reset by itself. So we have to short the GO, GOI port and GND port so that we can just uh, uh, replace the code or just update the code. And also it just works uh, about 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network so that uh, So it gives us 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi signal, so that uh, uh, so that the transmission uh, rate is low and the transmission rate is high, but the speed is low. So when the when the image is displayed in, in the IP address uh, IP address of the particular uh, network, it just lags, so that uh, the user can, may wait up to 10 seconds for unlocking the card, unlocking or driving the card. And this is the literature survey of our uh, literature survey, which means that uh, the previous uh, existing system it uses the Arduino microcontroller, which makes the system slower. It only unlocks the door before entering the automobile, such that the camera is placed uh, uh, outside the door outside the door of the car, so that it just uh, it just only ensures the security of the door, not the engine. And uh, merits of our project, we used Arduino UNI R3 with a combination of ESP32 CAM, which makes our system faster. Our system unlocks the automobile before starting the car, so that the previous system only unlocks the door and easily the uh, easily the thief can unlock the car uh, by short circuiting the lines in the start-stop system. But in this system, it cannot; it is not possible. Only when the the user uh, user faces are uh, face is granted and the car starts so when an unauthorized user tries to unlock the card it just saves the images in the sd card and as well as it sends the image to the user using a gmail uh, gmail api we, which we used in this a microcontroller and these upgrades comes with the same cost which means that the the cost of the project is same uh, the cost of the uh, previous project is same as the main project which we have done right now and uh, challenge of uh, challenges which we face in uh, internet of things and uh, insufficient testing and updating such as uh, the, there are uh, low number of research centers and uh, no government aided research centers right now so government should provide more number of research centers to develop this iot and uh, concern regarding data security and privacy coming to data security it is an open source so that the hackers can easily hack the system iot system using a, a linux system or something etc and software complexity and uh, nowadays which we use iot system as a as a complex software which we use a uh, hundreds and hundreds of lines of codes to um, do a small operation in the iot devices and it is also difficult to inter integrate with this with the ai and automation such as uh, software is integrated with hardware and the device should re uh, require a constant power supply so which is difficult to maintain such as a uh, uh, if uh, five, if suppose the system requires five volt and and the system only gets three volt, the system doesn't operate. If the system gets the uh, gets uh, about twelve volt, it just short circuit uh, because it only requires a uh, five volt. And the interaction and short range communication uh, is you short range communication, uh, which we uh, which I have mentioned in the previous slide. It just uses two point four gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi signal, so that five gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi signal is not available right now. So when five gigahertz Wi-Fi signal is uh, available, it just consumes more amount of power, but the speed of the opera operation speed is uh, increased and also the IoT works uh, performance is uh, improved. And uh, advantages of IoT, uh, it has the ability to access information from uh, at any time or any time on any device. So that uh, when the user is at India and the user, uh, suppose when the user it has uh, user it 
is at office and uh, and the iot device is, is at the home the iot device is connected to the wifi network uh, with of the user home so that the user can monitor the whole system iot system from the office if suppose uh, the user uh, uh, forgot to switch off lights fans tvs etc the user can switch off switch off the devices apply and device appliance by just by simply clicking a button on the um, uh, user interface device such as android devices and improved communication between connected electronic devices so we can communicate by, uh, it uh, provides a communication with the electronic devices so that if there is any fault or uh, the device doesn't work it just indicates the fault status uh, in the user interface device and uh, and it also saves times and uh, money so that the iot device right now which we use uh, which we use are available at cheaper rates so that we can we can we can itself develop the new project or uh, or a new application based uh, based upon iot and the automate automate such as uh, in factories are improved by using IOTs, which I have uh, mentioned in high IOT, industrial IOT. And it also reduces the need for uh, human intervention. And uh, disadvantages of IOT. As the uh, number of connection devices, uh, connected devices increases, the more information is shared between devices. The potential that a hacker could steal confidential information also increases. So that the, it can be easily hacked as it doesn't contain any security protocols or, and it also an open source uh, network which we used. So that uh, when we use a, use the IoT device in a private network, it, it ensures the safety of the device. When we use an uh, IoT device in a public network, it, it is just exposed to other users or hackers so that the hacker can easily hack and may cause damage to the user and also uh, when an enterprise used uh, when an enterprise is such as uh, amazon alexa and uh, google home are connected with the uh, google server and amazon server so that many num when the number of devices keep on increasing the uh, server maintenance is uh, is high and also should uh, should should also the server should provide a equal data transmission to the all the devices which is connected to the server and also there may be a probability of getting a bug or virus in, in the iot device so that so that the connected device may become corrupted uh, and since there is no international standard of compatibility of iot it is difficult for devices from different manufacturers to communicate with each other so that if uh, if uh, amazon um, Amazon Alexa is used with and Google Home. It cannot it cannot communicate with each other as the manufacturers are different and the manufacturing and the and uh, this, these are all the disadvantages of IoT. And I hope you all uh, understand what are the applications of IoT uh, etc. And uh, what needs to be done uh, done to improve the IoT so that consumer education by providing proper education from right from the school school time can pro school time can improve the uh, IoT can improve the IoT application so that students can develop uh, students can develop and update their knowledge and also can uh, also they they can still manufacture a new IoT device for their convenience and etc and product reviews and comparisons should be done for between iot's so that uh, if uh, two manufacturers uh, develops and two microcontrollers so that we we should just compare the two products and uh, and either we should uh, analyze that either we can improve the iot application of these two products and uh, and what are the drawbacks that two products we uh, have and self certification of voluntary codes of practice should be provided and trust marks and labels like internet society trust alliance iot trust framework uh, such as the uh, seal uh, guaranteed or uh, standard iot standard there is an iot standard for the iot devices so there must be a certificate uh, for the device so government initiatives such as central government and state government should provide uh, many iot opportunities and uh, research laboratories for developing new products etc and uh, mandated security requirements such as uh, it should be uh, it should not be an open source and it should be only used in a private network so that hackers can can be able to steal our information if uh, suppose when we just register a debit or credit card in a iot device uh, it, 
it is used in a private network it is safe but when it is used in a public network it is the information is just exposed to over the public network and uh, anybody who uses the public network can access it uses shared memory access and liability reform such as a uh, patent rights etc and thank you if you have any doubts and uh, queries you can just post it in the comment box and i am free feel free to ask any doubts or questions thank you Okay, so Mona has asked why PS sensor instead of LDR for street lights. So uh, I just mentioned the PS sensor is used in cameras and LDR sensor is uh, used in street lights. So I think you didn't get the point correctly. Any other doubts? So let us move on to the Kahoot quiz. So let me share my screen. I hope my screen is visible. Is it? Can someone please let me know if my screen is visible or not? Uh, meanwhile, I want all the participants to go on on your uh, browser, type kahoot.it and enter the pen 3897205. Let me repeat again. I request all the participants to Go on to your browsers and type kahoot.it and enter the PIN number 3897205. So I'm waiting for all the participants to join. Okay, we have three participants so far. 
and I'm waiting for the others to join. Please join quickly. And the code number, the pin, gaming pin number is 3897205. Let me wait for five more minutes. we have six so far Okay, we have seven. That's a great count. I'm going to wait for two more minutes and then we'll start the Kahoot quiz. So let me repeat once again. Open your browser and type kahoot.it and enter the gaming pin. The number is 3897205. Guys, we are running out of time. Please make it fast. Okay, bingo. We have 10 members in. So let us start the Kahoot quiz. Beginning with the first question. Three, two, one. And the question is, what is the full form of IoT? This must be really simple for you guys. And the options are Internet of Technology, Incorporate of Things, Internet of Things, and Incorporate of Technology. So give me answers fast. We have 14 minutes, 40 seconds left, 12, 11, and the timer is running out, guys. Ooh, we have eight right answers. Let us see who is on the top. And the top is Raja Vinu. Wow, that's great. And followed by Nitin and Shalini. Moving on to the next question. What is the IoT? Network of virtual objects, network of physical objects embedded within sensors, network of sensors, network of objects in the ring structure. So choose your answers fast. We are running out of time. Let us see who is going to make the top this time. And the right answer is network of physical objects embedded with the sensors. And we have six of them answered right. So let us see who's on the top now. Okay, Nitin has stopped with a score of 1657. And Raja Vinu has got down to the score of... 1646 and moving on let us see question number three who coined the term internet of things kevin aston john wright edward jameson george carton so we are running out of time we have 20 seconds left fast 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 give your answers fast
and five, four, three, two, and one. And the answer is Kevin Aston. And three of them has answered, right? Let us see who's in the top. Okay, Nitin has made it to the top once again with the score of 2,624. Moving on, let us see the question number four. Which of the following is false about IoT devices? Internet of Things devices use the internet for collecting and sharing data. IoT devices need microcontrollers. IoT devices use wireless technology. IoT devices are completely safe. So quick, give your answers and the timer is at 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and the answer is right iot devices are completely safe it's a false statement moving on let us see who is on the top okay nishan gan nithin raja vinu shalmi has constantly been on the top moving on let us see the fifth question which of the following is not an application of iot smart home self-driven cars bmp 280 smart city I hope the answer is very clear to you. And we have about 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. And the answer is right. BMP 2280. So who is on the top? It is Nathan. Wow, he is the highest answer streaks of five that's great and raja vinu and shalini followed by them and josh and rithwick moving on to the sixth question which of the following is not an architect in iot Arduino, a fan an led stepper motor so this must be again an easy one for you guys 20 seconds left okay there are about six answers that's nice Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is Arduino. That's right. So who is on the top? Okay, Nitin is constantly on the top with Raja Venu followed by him. And Shalini has got down. And Ritwik has come up. So let us see who stays on the top uh, at the end of this quiz. So how many number of elements in the open IoT architecture? Three, eight six or seven we have 20 seconds left okay 10 of them are answered and the timer is running out we have all the 10 answered for it that's right the it's seven elements so let us see who is on top. Once again, the scoreboard has not changed, but Nitin has scored about 6,492. Great. Moving on to the eighth question. Which of the following is not a feature of Raspberry Pi model B IoT device? It has two, 256 MB SD RAM. It has a single USB connector. It has its own operating system. It has an Ethernet port. So which of the answer is right? Choose the answers fast. Ooh, the timer ran up fast. Okay, the answer is it has 256 MB SD RAM. So about three of them answered it, right? Moving on, let's see who is on the top. Wow, Nathan has scored the highest streaks of eight answers. Okay, that is great. And of score 7424 moving on to the ninth question the second last question iot gateway must provide data storage data sec security with hardware simple and fast installation protocol abstraction and you have 20 seconds left with you and about three has answered already now that's great five six oh wow everyone is answering it faster must be an easy question, I guess. And the answer is 
transportable abstraction. That is right. The two of them only answered it right. Okay, no problem. And moving on to the last question. Wow. Again, the scoreboard, ha scoreboard has not changed at all. So let us see who stays on the top. Which programming language is used by Arduino ID IoT software for writing codes? C, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript. One easy question. Anybody can answer it, I guess. Come on, we have six of them answered for it. Wow, that's great. And we have about 10 seconds left with us. Come on, guys, make it faster. Okay, we have all the 10 answered for it. Let us see the answer. C, C++. That's great. So let us see who is on the top of the podium. So third is Ritwig. That's great with a score of 4,235. And second goes to Raju, Raja Vinu. And the first goes to Nitin with a score of 9,363. That's great. And runner-ups are Shalni and Josh. Keep up with the good work, guys. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Out of thanks. I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought and the gratitude is happiness. Double by wonder. It is said by Gilbert K. Chesterton. Thank you, Mr. Manoj Kumar, for your outstanding discussion. We have now reached the end of this session and this is the time to extend our gratitude for the successful completion of today's event, IoT-based applications. Gratitude is like a magnet. The more grateful you are, the more you will receive. I deem it my privilege in proposing the vote of thanks. At the outset, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the management for providing an opportunity and extending full support to organize such an event. I would like to thank our principal sir, Dr. S. Ramachandran for being a source of motivation and guiding us to conduct such events. I, I would like to thank our most eminent speaker, Mr. Manoj Kumar for spending his time with us and enlightening the stay with his knowledge. Profound thanks to the event organizing committee for playing a pivotal role in organizing and ensuring the smooth conduction of this event. I also thank all the participants for accepting our invitation and extending full support. Dear participants, the feedback form will be posted in the chat box. Kindly do fill it. Once again, I thank you all.